What's up guys, it's Malafan28 and today we will be reviewing the PS3D update in 6 minutes or less. Also I got my YouTube rank back it's been years, as usual there's a limited event item shop that has Halloween skins from the years before if you missed it. It also saves your candies from last time. This year though, they didn't add any new skins because this update actually only Bruh. took them a month or a little more to make as they were busy on developing their new game. To earn candies you have to play maps that are Halloween themed. The maps are Halloween Island, Halloween Mansion, Ghost Train, Retro Mall, and Little Town. Although Bruh. Little Town is bugged and is displaying the default version instead of its Halloween version. Here's what the Halloween one looks like if you are interested. Special thanks to Bun for sending me footage. Bruh. One kill equals one candy, so you gotta be grinding to get them Halloween skins. My favorite are the ghost themed ones. There's no Patreon item this time which sucks. Also the heavy rifle trick or treat skin does not show up in game for some reason so that sucks. They added 5 new Bruh. cosmetics, which all look cool and are cheap. A new gear back thingy which costs 275 credits, but the skins for it cost coins. Bruh. They also added a new glasses which only costs 75 credits. Its skins are 150 Bruh. coins each. They added a dog companion trail thingy which costs 275 credits and to be honest is more of a kangaroo than a dog. They added a scrap helmet thing which is also costs only 75 credits. And the skins are coins price too. Finally they added a watch but I haven't had it in my item shop yet so I can't show you but here's an image. They also added a new character called Robo Rob and costs 475 credits. It's pretty cool. It has an interesting controversial body design that might be awkward to aim since it has no legs and floats making it interesting in areas of the game where you can in hide. For example, the bathroom stalls in back. You can hide and no one can see your legs. Although your shadow might be present. There's also probably a new character skin. That might be the guy on this screen but I don't know yet. The last thing that's new this update is the new map Wasteland. Which is a pretty cool and compact small map. It's also the only map to have 3 health packs and 3 ammo packs. I will be showing you their locations which honestly isn't needed but why not. <laughs> Man, I'm dead. Anyways I think that's all for the update. Hope you enjoyed. This will be the last update for Pixel Strike in a while according to the devs so expect nothing major for a while. Makes me sad because there's a lot of issues and bugs that still need to be addressed. Bruh. But it seems like, they've been reading bug reports and responding to emails a lot, and are also aware of the servers needing to be fixed. They did say they are releasing a bug fix update in the upcoming weeks and so far Xbox and Andrea got one. But the Bruh. servers still require VPN for some people. Heartbreak but it is what it is. Anyways that's all for the video hope you enjoyed. Peace.